Welcome back to Jeopardy. It's our double Jeopardy round, but based on what I saw in that Jeopardy round, I cannot wait for Alex Trebek to return from vacation. It's our teacher tournament, and if we are entrusting America's youth to these people, go ahead and take me now, God. Contestants, we've reset the scores back to zero dollars because we feel really terrible about taking money from teachers when they didn't have any to begin with. Quick reminder that values are worth double in this round. Here are the categories. Mississippi stuff. Family dynamics. Who is this? More who is this? Potent potables and potpourri. That's a category where basically anything is eligible. Embry, you control the board. I'll take family dynamics for 200. Okay, here is the video clue. This is the main ingredient in sugar babies. Stephanie. Um, I really feel like I should know this. Um, uh, what is the, the white stuff? I'm sorry, that is way too vague. Embry. Uh, flour. No, that's incorrect. And please give your responses in the form of a question. Uh, Amy Mazing. What, what is flour? It, 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 it's called a sugar baby. A sugar baby. The correct answer was sugar. Embry, go again. Yeah, I'll take uh, family dynamics for 400. This G word is the standard name for the mother of your mother. Stephanie? Who is Mima? Uh, no. Amy? No, that's right. I went over to their house for Christmas. She calls her Mima. Uh, still no? Embry? Yeah, it's definitely Mima. Uh, I dated Mima once. She actually, uh, she made me a cookie. Well, it's nice that Mima made cookies, but we were looking for a G word, which was clearly in the clue, and the G word we were looking for was grandmother. But because your Mima made cookies, Stephanie, you get control of the board. I'll take Mississippi stuff for 200. Okay, here is the video clue. This former lieutenant governor is now the actual governor of the state of Mississippi. Guys, he is your governor right now. I'll even give you a hint. His first name is Phil. Embry, who is Phil Jackson? I'll take Mississippi stuff. No, he's a Hall of Fame basketball coach. Stephanie. Phil, who is Phil Collins? No, he was the lead singer of Genesis. Uh, Amy Azing. Who, who is Phil in the blank? No, and I feel like you know that's wrong. But we still have to keep going, so we'll go back to Embry. I'll take uh, Mississippi stuff for 400. Here's the video clue. This explorer, for whom De Soto County was named, was born in Jerez de Caballeros, Badajoz, Extremadura, España. Embry. Uh, what is not my area? I'm a math teacher. Nope. Stephanie. What is not my area? I'm a biology teacher. Okay, friends, just take the city and the county where most South Haven employees live, and you're going to get the right answer. 
Amy? What is not my area? I'm an English teacher. Nope. Hernando de Soto. I, I, I do math. I, I don't have I'm that degree. Math. Language. Mm -hmm. Biology. Math. Verb. Not Subjective my area. Mood. Life and stuff. <sighs> Embry, keep going. I'll take Mississippi stuff for 600. Okay, here is the video clue. All right, uh, y'all got any more openings over there at Lake Homer? Embry? Uh, what is not for you? Yes, you finally got one. <laughs> they can't take everybody. Keep going. Can we take who is this for 200? This South Haven teacher went to New York City to take pictures of dog poop. Embry? Uh, only Marty Parks could take that many trips to New York during the school year, so I want to say, who is Marty Parks? Yes. All right, I'll take the next question in that category, please. This assistant principal was recently in a talent show featuring fashions inspired by your Aunt Mabel's living room curtains. Amy. Who is Donnie Smith? No, and keep in mind that this is a female... The answer will be one of the two female assistant principals. Stephanie? Who is JR? No, and keep in mind that this is a female. The answer will be one of the two female assistant principals. Embry? Who is Donnie Smith? You know, you know what? You don't deserve the right answer. But somehow, Embry still has control of the board. Okay, I'll go, uh, who is this for 600? This teacher, whose first name starts with Bailey, is displaying the crossing guard outfit for a rainy day. Embry, what is a banana split? For the ninth time today, banana split is not the answer to any of the clues on this board. The answer we were looking for is who is Bailey Roberts? Since I am contractually obligated to stay here until Final Jeopardy, let's just keep going. This former scholastic athlete now teaches in the music department at South Haven High. Amy? Who is me? It's me! Did you teach in the music department? No. Did you run for a school nicknamed the Dragons? No. Okay, then it is not you. We were looking for who is Carmen Folks. Carmen Folks. Next! This South Haven employee went all out at the 2002 Antebellum Ball. Stephanie? Who is Scarlett O'Hara? Does Scarlett O'Hara work here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not in the freshman building. I don't know any of these people. Emory? Who is me? Did you ever attend the antebellum ball? No. Did you ever wear an antebellum dress? Maybe. I'm not touching that one with a 10-foot pole. There is no question whatsoever that this is Rebecca Roper. Speaking of a 10-foot pole, here's our next video clue. This current South Haven High School employee had a recent run-in with a rodent. All right, I'm going to see if I can tape this for you. Amy? Who is the squirrel? No, we do not have a squirrel on staff at South Haven High. Stephanie? I don't know who this is, but they have a potty mouth and my unborn child is listening. Okay, you are worried about somebody else having a potty mouth? Embry? Who is Dr. Thompson? Okay, Dr. Thompson retired in 2014. However, 
opposites, the correct response was Angela Thompson, and you at least got the right family, we're going to give you a $5 credit on your abysmal negative balance. Here's the next clue. Let's try the other female principle. Okay, the answer is Shamika Bradley, but I'm a little concerned about the blank stares you are giving me right now. Does anyone want to pick the next category? Just like the students. Okay, here we go. This basketball coach, whose name is Ron Wilson, was not prepared to receive a pass from his point guard. This looks just like Coach Quinn's class. I could have been somebody in this life. My mother wanted me to be a politician. I chose to substitute for Kelly services. Let's just try to finish. This assistant principal started a dance craze that is sweeping South Haven. Obviously, that's Connell of Connell's dance party. This South Haven employee, who is second from the left and is not Will Ferrell or John C. Riley, works in the front office and has three blonde haired daughters. But none of you are paying attention at all, so how about this one? Come on, Chick Chicks. Tim is chasing this kind of animal, which lives in a chicken coop. Oh, yes! Tim, the chicken catcher. The name chicken is in the clue, but you don't have a clue, so let's move on. This South Haven employee found himself in the wrong bathroom. Hey, my Wi-Fi just went out. Call McCandless. Who is McCandless? Hey, 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 that's right. That's absolutely right. Who is McCandless is the correct answer. I am carrying another life inside of me. All of my answers are correct. Yeah. All right, we're on a hot streak. Let's keep going. Today is this man's 40th birthday meaning that he had hair for exactly half his life. Both of you. Who is Shane Jones? Nope. Emory? Who is Larry Shane Jones? And you now have control of the board. I'll take a potpourri for 200. Okay, it's potpourri, and here's the clue. Long, short, long, long, short. Emory? What is uh, Morse code for SOS? Nope. Stephanie? What is Morse code for come get this kid out of my room before I whoop his ass? Nope. Amy? What is Miss Bradley's hair? And for the first time all day, you have control of the board. Ooh, I have control of the board. Hmm. Mississippi stuff. I'm from there. Family dynamics, I have parents. Who is this? More who is this? Potent potables. Pot poo-puri. I like Indian food. Maybe I should pick that. 
You know what? Uh, forget it. Emory, you just pick. I'll take a uh, pot puree for 400. Damsels in distress should do this. Ooh, I, I know this one. I was running uh, the other day down by the, uh, the softball fields, and uh, I saw these, these two ladies, and they, they were just, they're, they're trying to get this lawnmower to work, and it, they just don't don't know what they're doing. I mean, what, what are you, you going to do? Uh, they they should have just called Coach Edge. Oh, I'm sorry. The correct response was, what is? I was running the other day down by the softball field, and I uh, saw these two ladies. They were trying to get this lawnmower to work, and they just don't, don't know what they're doing. I mean, you, what do you, what do you, uh, they, they should have just called Coach Edge. Update, after about a hundred tries, they did call Coach Edge, and he cranked it on the first attempt. But at this point, who cares? Embry, just pick. Why don't we give uh, Potent Potables a try? Potent Potables for 200. This drink mixes with vodka, lime juice, triple sec, and cranberry juice. Uh, Linda? What is a cosmopolitan? That is absolutely right, Linda. But I gotta say, I didn't know you were playing this game. This is my area. Potent Pullables, 400. Stir the vodka and orange juice with ice in the glass, then float the Galliano on top. Linda? What is a Harvey Wallbanger? That is absolutely right, Linda. Keep going. Potent potable, 600, please. This variation of a coffee and Irish cream classic calls for iceberg vodka and maple syrup. Linda? What is a Canadian mudslide? Absolutely! Potent potables, 800. This drink mixes pure grain alcohol and pure grain alcohol. Linda? What is a Marley Monday? You got it! Potent Potables 1000. And it's the Daily Double! How much would you like to wager? All of it. All of it. Okay, you're taking a big risk here, but I like it! Served in only one bar in the northwest corner of Malaysia, this drink mixes Mekong whiskey, sake, soju, and powder of seahorse. What is a Ho Chi Minh Charlie? That's right, and you ran the category! And... And Linda has left the building. Which is rather unfortunate because she now has a commanding lead. Well, at least I know we still have some competent people here at South Haven. Uh, uh, Ste Stephanie, welcome back. What a miss. Not much. <laughs> well, that sound means it's time for Final Jeopardy. But before we reveal today's category, let's get a word from our sponsors. Today's show is brought to you by Connell's Cleaning Service. If a kid barfs in your room, clean up that Technicolor rainbow with Connell's Cleaning Service. He'll come down with a big black bag and make sure that puke is evacuated. Connell's Cleaning Service. And by Cecily's Rickshaw. If you're an assistant principal and you need to get to the cafeteria fast because there's a fight, no need to run down the hall like Donnie Smith pulling up your pants all the way. Call Cecily's Rickshaw. She'll get you there in a hurry. Contestants, here is some good news. Our judges have decided to split Linda's earnings between you, so everyone gets to play Final Jeopardy today. Let's take a look at our Final Jeopardy category. People who still work here. Uh, is there any way I could go to the bathroom before Final Jeopardy? Because I have a baby sitting on my bladder. Yeah, it, it should be fine. We'll be back right after this. retiring. Really? Oh, I'm gonna miss him. Me too. He's awesome. He is. Halls are not just gonna be the same at all. 
Oh my god, you're not gonna believe it. Guess who else is retiring? Who? Mr. Dixon. Oh, I love him too. I do too. This is not, the halls are not gonna be the same at all. Do you remember that time Mr. G stopped that parent for parking in the teacher parking lot and he did it with his bare hands? Oh my god. Do you remember when Mr. Dixon jumped on that speeding school bus to defuse a bomb? Sandra Bullock was driving. It was crazy. Well, Gornson yelled at paint. It jumped on the house, painted itself. Well, Mr. Dixon kicked a cow and butter came out. Yep. Well, Mr. Gornson won a game of Connect Four in three moves. Well, Mr. Dixon won a game of chess in one move. Roundhouse kick to the face. Well, Superman wears pajamas with Mr. Gorenson's face on them. Well, Mr. Dixon won an Ernest Hemingway look-alike contest, and Ernest Hemingway was in it. Well, Mr. Gorenson once played tennis against a brick wall. The brick wall quit. Oh yeah, well, the Great Wall of China was built to keep Mr. Dixon out. Yeah, well, when the boogeyman goes to bed at night, he checks his closet to see if Mr. Gorenson's in there. Well, Mr. Dixon has already been to Mars. That's why there's no sign of life on there. Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Dick. Oh, I see what you did there. Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Dixon. No, Gorenson. Dixon. Gorenson. Nice. Dixon. Whoa. They are equally amazing people. I mean, can't you agree how amazing they are? And how we're going to miss both of them. I mean, but, you know, Mr. Dixon, he can speak his own languages, and nations will listen. He's even Groot's best friend. Told you Dixon was better. Gorenson! Dixon! Gorenson! Dixon speaks Groot! Gorenson can paint houses from here all the way to Tupelo and back in a day. Dixon knows like 182 languages. Gorenson. He can speak anybody's language. Gorenson. He can speak Tay's language. He can speak he can speak anything. Gorenson's my dad.